It's so cute. Yeah. So it's another busy day at the Republic. Yeah, we got a new little puppy. Name is Louie. And uh, I'm teaching. It's nice to get some experience as a new instructor doing some more open waters. We got two divers in the water right now. We got two more divers coming with another. We'll send them with another dive master group. And then we got two other divers with dive master Alex going right here because they're they're more of doing a refresher dive. You know, because they haven't dove in a while. They're certified, but they haven't dove in a while. And then after that, they'll do uh, fun dives. So I think the first ones they're going to do out here, out front. And then this other group's already in the water. My group's going down to the sanctuary. Alex! Hello! Refresher dives? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so this is our last day on the open water course and this is like a full story full circle story i'm gonna have to tell you about it i want to bring my uh let me go grab my friend and i'll tell you because this is a pretty cool story so a lot of you do know my story or a lot of you don't but basically when i first how i left america started traveling and diving is in 2010 i went on a university trip with my professor thatcher professor chad and uh, he basically sends students on international trips for international studies and stuff like that. So I went on that trip and it changed my life. I never, we went to Southern Africa, like South Africa, Mozambique, Malawi, uh, Zambia, stuff like that. And at the end of the trip, when everybody's about to go home, I stayed and that was 14 years ago. And he got us all, all the students, he got a, he convinced us to do our scuba certification. So now it's been 14 years, I've been all over the world. He's brought student, other students, university students to other locations around the world. Now, 2024, he's here. And I'm a dive instructor and I'm certifying his daughter. When I left Colorado, she was like four years old, three or four. And now she is 16 and she's doing her open water with me. So it's kind of like a full circle thing, huh? Full circle, buddy. <laughs> it's so awesome to be here with Justin up here in his place in Darwin. I've been getting all kind of great dives. This place is absolutely amazing. I've dove a lot of places. You can check off things in your bucket list here for sure. Especially yeah. with this guy. Yeah, I did, not, such, I did such not an honor. Think, I did not think when I was in Colorado University or Colorado Mesa University that I own a dive center in Asia, in the tropics. And then I'd be an instructor and full time in the water every day. Pretty yeah. crazy stories. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> He's even gonna do his dive master with me yep. pretty soon. Oh yeah, definitely. No better instructor than this guy right here. Yeah. It's awesome. He's been teaching so. my daughter. It's been such an honor to have Justin yeah. teach Sage how to dive. Woo! Yeah. So that being said, I'll let the dive masters go do their groups of fun dives. I'm gonna take Sage, my open water student, and Chad's daughter uh, on their last two open water dives, and then she's certified, as long as she passes. So we're gonna drive down to uh, the sanctuary, a couple different spots, because she's already been diving out here, out front. With that, then I clean my uh, here. Refresher Alex. So I got Elvis with me because uh, Professor Chad, although I'm doing his daughter's open water, he's actually gonna start his dive master training with me. And Elvis just finished his dive master training. I mean, he got, he got overtrained. Technically, you can finish your dive master training with 60 dives, that's the minimum. But he has like over 300. We were, uh, he was gonna, it's not just another student. I mean, we got high standards for everybody, but he got way more because uh, he's gonna work for me. Uh, I got a lot of dive master trainees that are, they don't ever wanna work, they just want the skills. But he's working for me, so he got, I mean, tech diving, he got a lot of training. So anyway, he's helping me, he's assisting me today in the course and showing Chad how dive master prepares for dives. So this student 
is really good on our skills and uh, fast and really good on our air consumption so for her first two open water dives we we're able to do pretty much all the open water skills I just have a few more I want to do so I got my slates but I don't want to bring all of them because she did pretty much everything I'm just writing down a few that we still have to do like more computerized ascents a little bit more navigation and then like every other student she needs to practice hovering and buoyancy control frog kicks and because she was kind of ahead of the schedule ahead of the curve yesterday we actually set up some obstacle courses some buoyancy obstacle courses she was able to hover in front of like a stationary object she was able to you know we had some lines set up and we're gonna uh, we tried back finning and reverse and helicopter but it's not really a requirement for open water but if she does good today we're gonna work on it as well as more mask skills which you can never do enough i'm not just letting her do it one time and then good uh it's a good one to keep practicing anyway let's get in the water waves and current we gotta do uh, open water number three navigating underwater then we'll do really be paying attention to our dive computer we'll do computerized ascents not emergency ascents right, start, yeah. and start you know i might have to handcuff you or something so you just play good current and visibility and everything so we're gonna go straight out here this is filming whatever i'm good All, we all did that. We all do this. We all go down together. Raise your uh, deep later and remember, chest first. Dive. Oh yeah. Or third, third total dive done, right? All done. On to your your Four. fourth and final dive for your course. How are you feeling after that last feeling one? So good. Yeah. I mean, it was a little scary underneath the water, being like 18 meters, you know. Right, and I right. Getting out, my water, my mask was filling up with water, and I was like, ah. I know. <laughs> this this next site is gonna be a lot, a lot cooler, a lot more to see and stuff. So. Just have fun with it, relax, just breathe, okay? Go with okay? the flow. Exactly. Go with the flow. Of 
the way to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> this time, we're gonna go in here, but Sage, this is uh, this is the dive side that's gonna test your buoyancy. There's absolutely no hugging in the ground anymore. This is all coral. You're gonna break coral or break yourself if you land on it. Okay. And there as a oh it's not on, it just says press this and it's already recording. Yeah. So Simon and Kevin don't really like him, but Louis likes them just fine. <laughs> Anyways, it's the next day. Congratulations to Sage. She passed her open water dive training. Everybody say congrats in the comments below. Make her feel cool. Um, and now her and her dad, we're doing a Nitrox certification. I think Nitrox is an important course. Her dad's coming back to do Dive Master pretty soon with me. So nitrox basically requirement. Um, anyways, awesome dive. 
We got a couple divers in the water right now with Dive Master Alex. And uh, busy days. Me and Elvis are uh, working on a project for a new channel about all about diving so I can kind of separate it from this channel. Uh, you guys are all asking about boat updates and uh, right now, okay Louis, hold still. Right now the boat, we're waiting for some wood. It's a, it's a species of acacia, some really ultra hardwood that we use for keels and outriggers and as you might remember we're working on the outriggers next and, and the masts but we have the wood for the masts uh, so we bought the wood we have it prepared and everything but it's like a endangered uh, restricted species so we're waiting for the permits to be able to transport it from the the jungle to the boat yard right now got to do everything legal so that's taking a while uh, but we're as soon as that wood arrives we'll be able to start building the outriggers that'll be some cool videos and the masts we're building bigger masts and long taller masts if you guys remember that so anyways uh, me and Elvis are gonna go do some diving right now nitrox course is about done we're gonna do some nitrox dives so see you on the next one <laughs> 